Hello, welcome again. We're going camping again. Uh, this time will be a four day, three night uh, trip. I've got John with me, John Poe, hand pedal slayer, th uh, slayer 12. This is not mist, this is not fog, this is the haze. The haze is uh, thick enough that I can sort of see that my vision right in front of me is impaired. It's almost like I can see the particles right in front of my face. Tide is pretty high now. We're hoping we can fit under the sluice gates later. There's no current, should be fine uh, in terms of safety. But yeah. And it looks like we just might be able to make it. Gotta put a few things down. But we should be able to fit underneath. Don't think I even need to lift up my propel. I don't think so at least. This is where we went the first time round. As you can see, at low tide, it's a bit uh, blocked. This is where we came in the last video. Uh, the second time we took the shortcut. Tide is a bit higher now. I have no difficulty uh, paddling. For now, at least. This is where we got stuck waiting last time, Fendi and I. Can't believe we managed to fit through this. This looks so much smaller now that the tide is uh, higher. I've been pedaling non-stop so far. Ooh, this, this spider. The upside, oh it spoke too soon. The upside is I do remember where the deep channel is. Hand paddler having no problems here. Ah, right side. Uh, we are slightly stuck here now. We still can push through a bit, but not sure if the if it'll be more shallow in front. It's really shallow here. Depth was 0 0.2, not 10.6. I do have the old route, we are following the old route that we went on the last video. We did see a shortcut here but we didn't want to risk it. We tried, I tried to look at the left side, which is the way we went on the first time, first trip. Uh, but water was just too shallow. Sand flies are eating us up here. I climb a lot. In front got one bunch across the... Nice. Pedal fast, huh, bro. In front here also got another one, yeah. Tons of mosquitoes here. This is the, I would say, intersection that matters. This will lead us back to the main river. The very first time we came, Fendi and I, we went on this side. We didn't even realize, we didn't even realize that this was the actual thing. We went by the right, and turned out fine as well. But this is. Shorter, less harrowing, I would say. I'm on a flies in my ears right now, madness. Just in front here is quite deep water, about at least four meters, I think, if I remember correctly. So we are going through. My ears so itchy. Woo. 
bloody mosquitoes and sand flies eating me alive. His layer 12 sits much lower in the water, it's lighter uh, because of the kayak itself and also because of what he's brought. So, if, yep. that's cool. Now it's my turn. It's deep enough to paddle here, so I'm paddling. Sandbags. Interesting. I don't need this anymore. So we are through. Uh, once we cross that choke point, it's almost uh, indistinguishable from uh, the rest of the scenery, almost invisible to us. Uh, the water seems to be relatively uh, deep. It's not so bad. I've got my propel down all the way now. Uh, ever since the crossing and we are on the main river now so we are good we just came into a lagoon because we're quite early it's only 12 o'clock and the view is quite cool you can only imagine how much better it will get once it gets to a high tide If only this was fresh. This this almost looks like oops. This almost looks like Malaysia. If only this was fresh water. You can smell the rotting plants. Yep. Saw these guys earlier. Coming out again. We're fishing as well. So that Kilo uncle just invited us. He was a Kilo uncle apparently. He just invited us to his fish farm. I don't know for what. But uh, we'll go and check it out later. They got three fish. They called it small. It's about the length of my forearm and my hand together so it's quite cool we have the time now to visit another lagoon very cool quite dirty though this is the last lagoon before we exit the Nordin oh it's quite shallow though I can see the bottom you won't be able to see it for sure I just left uh, John behind, he needs a bit of a rest from his hand paddle adventures. So this is actually open sea maps. Open sea maps is like open street maps and if you don't know what that is, it's like uh, free maps that you can download and use for free, totally free for the most part. There are a few stipulations, it's basically open source uh, data and user contributed, user editable, user everything actually. So Open Sea Maps is the marine offshoot of Open Street Maps. It basically uses the same data as Open Street Map, but adds additional things to it, like uh, lights and navigational uh, markers. Uh, they are working right now on adding contour lines as well, the depth markings. Uh, they get the depth data from users like me. I record my logs. I record the depth logs and I submit them online. And from there they generate contour lines, they generate depth data. So if you have the opportunity, you should record your logs and you should try to submit it. So all these rivers are things that I traced out quite a while ago actually. Possibly more than five years ago. I don't know what's going on here, but uh, the fan seems to have disappeared, the lower half at least. 
kayak can definitely fit through there. Not right now though, but sooner rather than later. Wow, it's all the way. It's odd. The sun, we are out now. The sun is uh, beating down pretty hard on us. Uh, wind is very mild, fairly humid, and the haze is quite bad. Not as bad as this morning, but still pretty bad. You can't really see much. Yeah. How are you all the time? Can I? They have a bridge. Nice enough to give us a drink as well. You can't really see it because of the reflection on the water. But the sea bass is like yeah, small ones, but the owner just told us it's about maybe 500 per net. He's feeding them with pellets. What love it, shooks, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Can you throw your net one back? Yeah, man, that's why. <laughs> what time cast net, ah? <laughs> Camera can see. Yeah. When they come up, I can see. Holy crap. I can see, you can see. Oh, very fast, eh? they all bite. Just. You don't bore. Wait, wait. Oh, I know, I know. Departing now, uh, quite hospitable, we're heading to Mamam, or we're gonna fish a bit first then head to Mamam. I've just lost two fish, uh, the first one didn't uh, hook itself properly, came out, and the second one just now uh, dashed into a snag, sankot as we call it, and I waited patiently, eventually it did come out, but just as it reached the surface, it managed to unhook itself. So the the second one was the smaller one though, the one that the one that unhooked himself uh, as near the surface. That's a shame though. Sabah grouper, I saw it as well. So I've been fishing the same line over and over again, trying to get because the bites were still keeping up. And Instead of a grouper, this time round, the third time, I got this uh, kachi, sweet lips as they call it. This is going to be an awesome dinner tonight. The meat is, should be excellent. We've reached Mamam. Uh, sun is peeking through the clouds just a bit. But still pretty hazy. Our kayaks are actually on, the, on, the, on top actually. We brought it up. Okay, don't worry, this I won't put online. <laughs> so those guys that were here just now, they left us uh, the charcoal and the, some noodles. I didn't realise. If I realised, I would have uh, thanked them. It's quite cool. Not sure what we can cook with it now though. We've really got the fire kind of started. You sort of got the fire going. But I'm going to eat the donated food first. It's very nice. We've just got the fish from the fire. We have lemons, onions, and covered everything with salt and pepper.
Hey, you don't eat the rice, huh? Dangerous, eh? Huh? I see the bone so small. Look at now, Anja. We got the fish balls uh, from John. And now we shall reveal his soup. It's almost midnight now, the end of day one. Um, I might him out set up perfectly. Top is just a little loose, but pretty decent. At about seven hours of sleep, almost eight hours actually. So it's not bad. John's then. I brought a tent as well, but I forgot the thing on top, so I had to use a ground sheet to make a kind of a rain fly. Hasn't rained yet. Using John's pot, I uh, made the water boil much faster. I think I'm gonna start using my pot as well. Ten sausages, rice, one egg, wild mushroom soup, cream of mushroom soup as well. Uh, some chickens, chicken cubes, half a chicken cube actually. Sausages were not as nice as I expected. Uh, porridge is alright though, added a bit of pepper and it became quite nice again. And the sausages are a bit uh, disappointing. Just getting ready to head back out again, go for a bit of fishing and then uh, come back hopefully way before sundown and get everything ready. This cut keeps opening up. We're out again, uh, fishing, seeing what we can catch for dinner. Doesn't look good so far though, I had one miss, uh, maybe a medium sized fish. This is like the first time that I actually got to I get to explore the entire area of Mamam. Usually I'm stuck at the beach or just about to go off. So it's quite cool, but is isn't. Launching and recovery is still a pain. You have to bring it up or leave it in the water. And gener generally speaking, you do get wet all the time everywhere. With the exception of low tide, of course. Low tide is one of the best times to uh, launch and recover. But we're not lucky that way, not this time. There is this slipway here that you can see, but it's very uh, slippery. And today, it's locked as well. The gate on top is locked. Uh, the fences are in a state of disrepair, quite bad actually. Things are rotting away. Even the metal is uh, rusted away. Some things, like exactly like just over there, the fence itself has fallen apart. Some places they use chains to pull it back together. They tie a chain around this. Still not that great. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. It's always been a hindrance to me actually, this fence. It's just started to drizzle. And I guess now we'll find out whether my tent is waterproof or not. I've not actually been fishing, just fishing for a while now, so I forgot how fast the Slayer uh, 13 actually is without anything on it. It's quite fast, man. Yeah, even his clothes are outside. Temporarily parked here. So it's a. Uh Somewhere between a heavy drizzle and a medium, medium rain. Uh, I just had to, I brought my kayak up, rested it on the rock. I just had to lower my tarp. I flipped the tarp over uh, just so I could get some air inside the hammock. I just uh, lowered it back down, put it on the pegs, brought some clothes in, about three clothes. One of them was mine, two was John's, and I brought my solar panel and whatever I was charging in. 
that's about it. Everything else is waterproof and all rainproof, uh, like my hammock. Uh, we'll find out whether my tent is waterproof. I do think it is, but I don't think the seams are. Some police uh, came by last night um, to check up on us. I guess they're surprised to see people here on the weekdays. But we were surprised to see people here on weekdays as well. During the daytime, there are quite a few people uh, just cycling around, walking around. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit surprising. You got cut, ah? Yeah. A lot of blood, or what? Yeah. Stepped on a rock and slipped on the barnacles. I know how that feels. The rain started up again. Now it's quite heavy. We've got quite a few people inside there sheltering as well. And four people somewhere there just met. Just playing in the rain. I'm gonna shelter there as well. I was just in my hammock area. It's quite warm. But I need to pee, so I'm coming here. So, the wind is blowing directly into the opening. The opening that doesn't have a zip. So, it's like... I put my bag there just to keep it, keep the flap closed to see what happens. I still don't know if the material is waterproof, so if it's not, uh, I'm screwed actually. <laughs> uh, but it'll be fun. His tent is holding up well, sheltered by my top, which is still very loose. No, I'm talking to the camera. Surprisingly loose. I think it's something to do with my knots, I think they're giving somehow. We're just going to the uncle's shop. Once he gets his wallet. So the rain has stopped right now. We are camped out here. Uh, this little shack to uh, get some cold drinks from the uncle's shop. John is bringing me now to find some firewood. This is a great spot somewhere here in the actual jungle. Probably untouched. So we should have a lot of wood. Once we get the wood, we'll process it. And once we process it, we will have a good shower and then we get the campfire going. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know where it is. No, it's done. It's done, done. Why? It's still very strong. No, it's still very strong. Come here. <laughs> Wait, give me some space to fall off. <laughs> the air's out! <laughs> he volunteered for it. He volunteered for it. I hope you're on camera. Oh, you see feet on camera. Right at the edge. Oh, you went straight center. Ah. Yeah. Oh, that's a different wood. Ah. Same, same. Hey. Nice. That's how you do it. Hey. <laughs> what is for shutting up there? You can see there. That's why not bad. How much? 100 and 60. Attention. Ding. Ding. People eat you. You. Let me turn you back around. Just started drizzling a bit uh, here and there. So, uh, the canopy is uh, still blocking most of it for us, so we're kind of fine. Our water, though. I think the tourists took it. I don't remember having so little. We had much more. Look at this. I need my water, man. That's our sun. Wearing my rain pants right now. These stick to my skin like a second skin. 
Yeah. I don't think this has been washed for about three years, I think. You wearing underwear now? I am wearing underwear. Thanks. <laughs> Need more water, man. Good. The chef. Just drying out my pants. We were having a very nice dinner. Huh? We just suddenly heard rustling in the trees, and all of a sudden the rain came down. So, we're still having dinner under my top. So, as fun as it is to camp in the rain, uh, including the free top ups of my drink. Let's see a top up. There we go. The annoying thing is my pants is going to be not dry. Fire is still going, but uh, it's going to go out eventually. And that is the most annoying thing, to be honest. No dry pants. Ah, and my solar panel. Oh shit, I totally forgot about that. So that's working well. I've run out of Milo for some reason, so I have to take Nestum. When that's done, I'll have tea. It's Bombay toast, man. French toast. We'll check on the traps, uh, John's long line, and my drift net. See what we can catch. the first time I've had lunch outdoors in quite a long time. Macaroni, cream of mushroom and luncheon meat. With bacon. With bacon. Looks very nice. We're just whiling the time away now. We had the fish that we saw uh, earlier. Some in the net, none in the line, long line. So now we're just charging up some of our electronics and waiting for dinner. Funny Fails 2015 Oh, what? John Poe <laughs> Goodbye son I'm gonna put on my dry, dry pants while it's still dry We got mushroom seasoning, rice, uh, luncheon meat with bacon bits and cream of potato Late edition in the form of soy sauce. It's gonna be great. It's your green one, Zamo. Green one? Uh? Yeah. There's last night's fight. John's got a big fish, we were just about to sleep. And his rod took a huge bend and everything just oh. went down. But we were too lazy to come up. But the fish was apparently still on. I scared the rock uh, It's really running man. Okay, if it comes in I uh, just pull it out rocks faster. Uh. Nope. This one uh. Oh, it's out. Catfish, yeah? Ah. Uh. Uh. Big one. Uh. No la. No, no. The morning of day four. We didn't do much yesterday. We're having a bit of a quick spot of tea. Once we're done, we have to uh, launch as fast as possible so that we make our launch window and we don't get stuck inside the low tide area. 
Rats went to John stand last night, took some of his food. Left with this. And a broken bag. We're about ready to launch. Sky is quite clear. Little to no haze. And we're out now. We're about to try our luck at the sleaze gates. Hopefully we'll make it in time. We have just under two and a half hours to make it. But the thing is, uh, some parts do get blocked uh, probably about one hour from now. So we'll see if we can make it in time. The sun right now is shining something fierce. Uh, it's a bit of a mixed blessing. Would have been nice if we could have charged up our panels yesterday, had this kind of weather yesterday. And had uh, the cooling weather that we had yesterday, today instead. But, uh, say la vie. We're making uh, quite slow progress. There's a bit of a current. We woke up somewhat late and left even later. The tide now is somewhere in the middle, upper middle. Hopefully we don't get stuck. The low tide today is not that low, so it might, uh, might help a bit. Fairly deep in the river system now, we're making much better progress. Our current is much milder. But looking at the state of the water, how much of the how much how low the water is, I think we we are going to get stuck somewhere inside. We'll see what happens. See this spot lah, go for see this spot lah. We are now officially stuck. There's a big uh, tree in front there, blocking our way. And in front is too shallow to even move. Won't even be able to drag ourselves. So we just have to wait about an hour or so for the tide to rise up, begin to rise up, and hopefully you can make progress from there. In the mud, we just push the pedal in as deep as you can go just tie yourself off to it so John's got a double sided pedal which you can break apart into two so he's putting his anchor in on both sides of his kayak that's a praying mantis I don't know what colour it is because I can't see it, but John is taking uh, the video. You have to hold on to your kayak, uh, otherwise you will, fall, you will sink inside. Uh. Yeah, 
need to move my tire away. How bad is it? You see in the butt crack. Eh? If you can push, I can pull. And go. Oh, I did that by myself. Uh. Awesome. Wait, ah. Uh. Okay, on your account. <laughs> that wasn't me. Whoa, 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 oh, not good. Whoa. Thanks, eh? Not really, eh? Yeah, but... I think you're fine. Yeah, we should be fine now. Uh. I remember this place. If we can clear that one in front, I'll clear this. We're finally out of the river system. Um, I spent one night in a tent and two in a hammock. And I think I do want a tent. Just the ease of setup and the ability to just put my things all over the floor without any problems without having to worry about rain or putting my things in a dry bag. I still love my hammock a bit though, but I, I would like a proper tent. Uh, it's a shame we didn't get to do much fishing. We were mostly lethargic uh, throughout the whole trip. We spent the second half of the first day setting up traps and uh, the first half of the third day collecting from our traps. We didn't get much. Uh, his long line set up didn't get anything. My drift net, which I didn't use as, as a drift net, I just set it up near the shore. Caught just a few bait fish. So in a survival situation, you're not going to have plenty, but you are going to have something. So that's not too bad. Uh, it's my first time trying it. so. Uh, it was an experience. I learned something from it. So we're going to eat at a floating restaurant now. Uh, John's never tried it before. And I, we're not that hungry but we do feel like we want to eat something nice.
Our fried rice has arrived. Just waiting for the sambal kangkung. That is rain. Heavy rain. Almost looks like haze, but it's rain. It's coming this way as well. We're near Walter Cross now, about to uh, recover the kayaks, wash them up, then head home to have a warm shower ourselves. Hopefully next time there'll be more fishing and more fish. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next one. Please like, subscribe and share.